This is the Charles River in Cambridge. This is where the head of the Charles Regatta is taking place. This is the annual event. It started in 1965. And this year is the 48th uh, year of this regatta. This is considered to be the largest two-day rowing event in the whole world. This is a general view of the river. I'm just panning around to give you, uh, give you an idea. Uh, as I was saying, this is the largest two-day rowing event in the whole world. And it started in 1965. This year, this is the 48th uh, year of this race. Uh, almost 9,000 athletes take place in this regatta every year, and 300,000 spectators uh, gather here in Cambridge to watch the regatta. Head of the Charles is a registered trademark of uh, Cambridge Boat Club. During this event every year, Cambridge, especially Harvard Square area, overflows with people. As I said earlier, about 300,000 people uh, come here to witness the regatta. Uh, local businesses do a brisk business. The hotels get full for these two days months in advance and Harvard University dorms provide accommodation to many of the athletes. 
as I said already, almost 9,000 athletes participate in this race uh, or regatta uh, and they come from all over the world. This year this event is taking place on Saturday, October 20th and Sunday, October 21st. Today is the second day of the regatta. Today is Sunday, October 21st. That's the other side of the river. And as you can see, tents are up there. There are businesses and snack shops and stalls selling various types of trinkets and souvenirs. We will go to the other side soon. There is a racer coming. Here is one more. And that's a fun thing. That's a motor car like thing going in the water. I think it's a boat actually. The top part is made with the body of a red car. But watch, it's on water. That's something funny. You see it? Motor car on water. This has to be a boat actually. This is the bridge that goes from Harvard Square, Cambridge to Alston. Uh, if you come along JF Kennedy Street from Harvard Square, you cross this bridge to reach Harvard Business School and the Charles River flows under it. Uh, I forgot the name of the bridge. Uh, uh, I just cannot remember offhand. But this is how you cross the river to uh, go from Harvard Square, Cambridge to Alston. And if you want to go to Harvard Business School, of course, there are many bridges that crosses the Charles River. This is just one of them. And of course, some rowers are coming. So you are watching Head of the Charles Regatta. This is considered to be the largest two-day rowing event in the whole world and participants or athletes from the whole world comes here to participate in this competition. By the way, these red buildings, these are the Harvard Business School buildings. This is on the other side of the Charles River, away from Cambridge. This is the Business School campus. I'm just panning the camera around to give you a little view and this big road going along you see the cars passing this is the Storo Drive this is one of the main thoroughfares of Boston and these are business school campus Now I'm standing on the Devils Bridge. It's a pedestrian only bridge. And this is the, we are looking at the bridge that we saw before that goes from Harvard Square to Alston, uh, extension of JF Kennedy Street, kind of. That's that bridge. And here are some spectators and some tents. Uh, raised uh, on the occasion of the head of the Charles thing. These are the stalls and snack shops uh, that have come up uh, due to this event. Again, this shot is being taken from the Eagles Bridge.
Actually, that's a boat, I'm sure. See, that's on water. That's funny. This is the other side of the dual bridge. That's one of the Harvard uh, houses. I forgot the name of it. See that red dome? That's one of the Harvard houses. And that is yet another bridge uh, going towards Boston and MIT. That's another bridge that crosses the Charles River. And some rowers or some competitors are coming as you can see. It's a two-day event. It's a uh, big thing, and uh, as I said, it is happening on Saturday and Sunday, October 20 and 21st. And each day, the competition starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. I think altogether there are 55 different races uh, that people can participate in. I think I need some energy now myself. See, these are the people who have gathered on the banks of the River Charles in Cambridge to watch the annual head of the Charles Regatta. today and wind is blowing particularly over the river and standing on TV. Those red buildings are Harvard houses. Now these are the food stalls. Italian sausage, fried dough, and something I cannot read through my LCD monitor. Fresh cut French fries, got it. And of course, of course we have a lot of portable toilets. Those are important, don't you think? When so many people gather in a place, you need toilets and they have provided plenty of them at various places. There are some more on this side, portable toilets. Of course we need lemonade also. We might get thirsty. Planes flying on the sky, carrying banners. Yummy, huh? Looks like lots of choices here. Now I'm on the other side of the river, on the Cambridge side, and I'm looking at the business school buildings. And that's the Dewolf Bridge. This is the Dewolf Bridge. I was standing over it a minute ago. People, people everywhere. And plenty of free samples are going on. Candy bars and whatnot. Free drinks. That's the motor car on water again. I think this is the most interesting thing I am uh, noticing here today. I have not seen this in any previous years. This must be a publicity stunt. 
Looks like the car is going to go under the dual bridge now. Maybe it is turning around. Yeah, it is turning around. Okay, I think you got the idea. So this is what Head of the Charles is all about. Ha, ha, ha.